Hello, everyone, and today I am proud to present to you the next big map for Total War Rome Remastered. So you've got Mundus Magnus ported from the original Rome Total War. You had uh, Europa 270 BC, that huge map, ported. Uh, you've got the Vanilla Enhancement map ported, which was the Romus Erectum map. Um, so many ported maps, so many great maps for Total War Rome Remastered, but this one is a really awesome one. This is Kersey's huge and accurate map of Europe, and it's a wonderful thing. I'm just showing you right now the, um, uh, you know, the basic geography here, and you, as you can see, everything is very very big and very accurate. So, for example, you know, just compare the Pyrenees here to um, the original Chivalry map or uh, Vanilla as well, or even bigger maps like Mundus Magnus. This is an incredibly detailed Pyrenees mountain chain here, and you can even, and you even have uh, Urgel here in the center, which would not be possible in the vast majority of maps. It's really wonderful. And, of course, this map is far more accurate than a map like Europa 270 BC, which of course is an older map for the original Realm Total War. And that's more of a gameplay oriented map than it is a, a very accurate one. But this one is very accurate indeed. And of course the scale and the size. So just going to the corners here, let's start from the top left. So as you can see, Wales looks big and wonderful here. You can actually fit three provinces in Wales, which is very nice. And the provinces are not too uh, packed, right? It's it's really amazing what uh, Kersey has been able to do here. So like Ireland, which is way too packed in original chivalry, looks really nice here. Um, so we go to the top left. We've got the, even the Faroe Islands here. We go all the way to the Faroe Islands. And, uh, of course, the scale is so big that you can actually have normal cities and provinces on all of these islands. So the Zetland Islands, the Orkney Islands, even the island of Hoy is visible. Stjornavagr, the Isles. And this is going to be make uh, the Kingdom of Norway start position in chivalry really wonderful. Um... Of course, this is just the chivalry version of this map. Kersey is also planning a uh, standard sort of Rome Total War classical period version of this map. So that's going to be quite nice indeed. Just take a look at uh, Norway looking very nice indeed. I just really like these textures as well. They look really, really good. And, you know, I have to be honest, I'm, uh, for several reasons, I'm running this on a low-end desktop. I'm running this on a low-end desktop, and the textures even pop and look great, even on a pretty low-end machine like the one I'm using right now. So, other than that, as you can see, we've got all the chivalry factions on the map. Not everything is done. As you can see, there are a whole bunch of provinces, um you know, with no garrisons and things. That That is all going to be ironed out. Uh, but, you know, just ha our favorite faction, Anjou, of course. Uh, but, as you can see here, there are so many provinces here. France is really fleshed out with Neve, um, Besançon, uh, Troyes, Limoges, right, just really, Septimania. Uh, the Iberian Peninsula looks really awesome with Nahera. Albaracin, my favorite city in Spain. We've got... Uh, it. It's just great. It's just great. North Africa. We go down to the bottom left corner. The map goes all the way to Kumbi Saleh and Audarost. Right, of course, this Audarost was the farthest reaches of the Almoravid Empire, right? So we can we actually have a historical boundary for the Almoravid Empire. Um, additionally, 
you've got Takeda from Shogun 2. He's right there. The Hamadid Emirate. Looking like a big faction. The Zirids have two provinces instead of one. Having all of these islands as their own provinces, that's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Kefalonia. Corfu. Right? Um, the Byzantine Empire is just massive. Just massive. Uh, they're going to have a tough time of it, but just massive at the start. As you can see, uh, the uh, Russia, Russia and uh, Ukraine, looking really nice. Looking really nice. But of course, you know, you go all the way to Central Asia here, right? And it looks the, the Himalayas look super nice indeed. And of course, you got the Tarim Basin. It's just really wonderful. And of course, you know, because of this map extension, you've got the entirety of the Grand Seljuk Empire represented. So, of course, this means uh, we're going to need to add in a couple factions. But, you know, I think that can be done with the current chivalry rosters we've got. I think we can get perhaps the Ghaznavids in there. We can see about that. But, yeah, it's it, just a wonderful map. The, the textures, these are some of the best textures that I've seen for any map. Uh, Mundus Magnus, of course, uses wonderful textures. This is a very different style. I really like this kind of warm style. And, you know, when, when you've got the Fog of War on, it still looks pretty cool. But then when you open up the Fog of War, it's just very warm color palette there. It's very nice. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, look, just look at this. The Levant. This is going to make the sort of crusading scenario feel even more epic than it already is here. It's really going to be something. Because you've got uh, Germanicaea added. You've got Samosata added. Melitene up there added. Uh, near Dessa. Uh, near Antioch, you've got Laodicea. You've got Homs added. Palmyra. Uh, aside from Sidon, you have Acker, right? So the map is big enough to have Acker right there. That is very nice. And then other than that, it's... I don't know what else to say. It's just really, really wonderful work by uh, Kersey. And I mean, look, you've got Turin in there. And it's not even that close to Milan. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. The perfect balance, you know, it, the map is big enough where you can have the Siena near Florence and it's not as if it's just a pace away, right? It's not right up against it, right? It's That's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. So you can conquer a Europe as Siena. Why not? So that's... Uh, pretty much everything I have to say about this map. Of course, this map is also going to have a classical era version. Uh, but I just have to applaud Kersey for his efforts. Because having a version of Chivalry with this big, amazing map, that's going to be... I have no words. I have no words. Kersey has done an amazing job. I can't thank him enough for making this map. And, um, yeah, I hope... Uh, I hope this makes you want to play some more Rome Remastered because even the vanilla campaign on this map, it's got, it would have to be rebalanced a bit for having so many provinces, but it's a beautiful map. It's an accurate map. I highly recommend you check out Kersey's stuff. He also has a wonderful map of Asia that I highly recommend you check out. That would be perfect for, you know, a port of uh, Genghis Khan Total War, for sure. But anyway, I think that's pretty much everything I have to say about this. If you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider liking the video, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you in the next one later.